I really enjoy using the iPad. Uh, I can't see myself attending a lecture or a laboratory session without an iPad now. I think I'd be lost without it. When I first heard that we would receive iPads, I think it's fair to say that I was happy and everyone else in, in our course were really excited. iPads were introduced into the School of Science to support employability. And what we want to do is to make sure what we're doing in the university represents what happens in their professional environment. This generation is the generation of social media. We wanted to try and introduce a teaching platform through the iPad. That was something that they would be familiar with and comfortable with. So this one, we had one key. Initially, we started the project during the summer of, of 2012. Luckily, we then got funding later that year. So during September 2012, all full-time first-year students were, were given an iPad to be able to use them in their studies. So we've been using iPads in the School of Science, um, mostly in our laboratory sessions for data logging, for looking at changes so we can draw graphs, so they can see patterns in their data and make adjustments accordingly. iPad was introduced to School of Science to replace the traditional lab book uh, style and uh, align the practical sessions with what the industry basically expect. The lab protocols were made for the iPad, so they had tables where you could put in your answers and your data. It's also quite good to have e-books so you're not having to carry around really heavy science textbooks. So the advantage of us having the iPads in the lab meant that we could take visual photographs and videos of our experiments which we could then refer to. I think it allows us as students to be more proactive in our learning and finding our own apps that could improve the way we work and we would then recommend these to lecturers and they would take note of this and they would recommend this to the, the rest of the year. In the UK it's recognised that students being able to engage with their peers really can significantly enhance their attainment and the iPad offers a phenomenal potential for students to engage in a whole variety of formats. The iMessage, Facebook, emails, I think as a group we've been able to communicate with each other better. Um, sometimes we'd also have uh, Skype video chats with um, friends to have kind of study groups, which is actually quite good. They have a better ability in order to, to connect uh, within their small social group and integrate with each other better, have something in common. The university's vision for e-learning is called Greenwich Connect. And it looks at how we teach, how we learn, and it really places connectivity at the heart of how we're supporting and teaching at the University of Greenwich. To be able to have that amount of competency with your digital literacy makes us more employable later on in life. Digital learning is absolutely paramount for the future careers of students and if we're making them au fait with it now at this point they should be more comfortable when they go and use that um, later on. I think I'd struggle with my higher education now if I didn't have an iPad. It's just changed the way that I learn they love engaging with this technology. They're continually surprising us with how they're approaching their learning. And it's just an exciting place to be.